Hello everyone! So here is the Christmas snowy night uh, themed house and it actually looks really good. We have got all the parts together now. We only need the light and the outside box. Oh and some snow. I forgot all about the snow. First I am dividing the um, wire for the Christmas tree and then I am dividing all the gray and the white wires so I have them are in stacks with only white and only gray. I'm using this shrink tube and placing all the white, white wires, including one of the wires from the Christmas tree into this little bundle here, just like that. And I'm doing the same on the other side with all the gray wires and one of the Christmas tree's wire, wires so that they all are in the tube over here. So I have a tube with only white and a tube with only gray, gray wires. I'm using my solder iron on the side here to make this shrink tube shrink so that it is containing all the wires here. In the original, they just want you to put a little electrical tape around the connections, but I think that is way too uh, risky with the electricity, so I want to do this right. So I'm doing this on both of these ring tubes. Then I am taking a small scissor and I'm cutting off all the excess wires here. I decide the length of the wires and I want a nice length so I can still um, make this uh, go together. So don't cut these too short. I took off the isolation of the white wires and the gray wires and here I am connecting the red one with the white wires, all of them together. And then I am going to solder everything together. After that, I am connecting all the gray wires with the black wires and soldering that. Just take your time with this so you are making sure that all the wires are in the soldered place here. And I'm placing the shrinkage tube on top. I did it with the other cord here and now I'm trying out that everything is working. Sadly, I found out too late that the two wires from the Christmas tree also had to be sitting in a specific way. So I had to take it all apart and putting it back together, but I did not want to bother you with this problem as it is just still done as I showed you before. So I'm just shrinking, shrinking the heat shrinking tube here around the soldered place to make sure that everything is going to stay in place afterwards. And now the light is working, but I will just make sure that everything is all done before we play around with the light. Now you just push all the wires and the um, battery compartment into the little hole that is actually underneath the couch that we made. And then you can take the little lid and put that on 
just like this. I decided to turn it this way. Sorry that I'm out of frame here. I took a piece of the electrical tape that came with the kit and I'm just uh, connecting the little lid here with that. Then I had this little piece here in the front and I have some of this grass texture to uh, paper. So I'm just cutting that out to fit this little piece. One of you guys told me I could use that for a little uh, garden with some bushes and so. So I'm just working with what I got here and making this into a little uh, place with some bushes. I have these small uh, tops of grass that is from uh, some train company thingy, also miniature, and I'm just using them as small bushes here. So I'm taking one by one and gluing them onto the grass, just like you see me do here. Now to the snow. I had this snow powder at home and it is mixed with a tiny bit of glitter and I like that a little better than the ones that came with the kit. But I will save the kit's snow for another time. I'm gluing on here and there where I want to have my snow lying and then I'm just sprinkling the snow on top of the glue. It's kind of a messy job but the end result is really really pretty. And I am placing the snow here and there where I think that it might be uh, bundling up on a house like this. I let it sit and dry up until the glue is all dry and then I carefully uh, brush off the extra snow, uh, turning it around and just very carefully brushing off the excess snow. Now it is time for the box that is going over the whole thing and that is made from five of these plastic pieces and this paper is on both sides of these plastic pieces and as you can see it's actually quite hard to get this off so I'm just showing you one of these and then I'm doing the rest off camera. I'm gluing the box together with some special um, glue for hard plastic but it's really really hard to show here on camera so I will skip this and just um, let you know it's not that difficult, but uh, follow the step out in the booklet. Here is the all done result of the uh, Christmas snowy night scene. I'm sorry for the blurry um, pictures here. My camera wouldn't uh, go sharp on this. I don't know why, but it would not work with me. Um, but here is some footage of the house without the box on top of it. And let us go and turn on the light to see together how that looks. Here we go. One, two, three. And there we go. The light is on. It is really, 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 really pretty with the light on. Looks so amazing. The box uh, for the outside is supposed to stand on top without being glued down. But I made uh, the wire go out under the box lid and put the box for the wires uh, for the electrical, the battery box on the lid and I actually glued on the lid. I will show you a few pictures here in the end of that. But here it is all lit up. And I think it turned out so, so pretty.
So thank you everyone for joining me in this process. It has been fun and I hope you liked it as well. Happy crafting! <laughs>